and welcome to another video from the inspiration college now if you are new to my channel i welcome you and if you watch the content and you like it then i would love if you could subscribe to the channel you could also leave a comment and also give the video a like and if you are a regular visitor then i also welcome you and you know exactly what to do so guys in this video i'm going to share with you things you should do as an ebay seller in 2022 and beyond and i am going to allow my friend matthew my avatar friend matthew to help you out with things that you should do and this is not everything but the main uh, points matthew will share with you as to how you can apply these to your shop if you are a new seller and also if you are a regular seller and you haven't been doing this so stay tuned and let matthew share these tips with you in this video i will share with you some tips of being a good ebay seller being an ebay seller entails a great deal of responsibility and you might just feel as if you aren't doing what you should this easy checklist can assist you in staying organized have you acquired everything there is to know about your items try putting their names into a search engine to see what you can learn about them if you're selling the same item as someone else always strive to provide buyers with more information about the item do you keep track of your competitors always keep an eye on how much similar or identical items are selling for and what price they're being offered at when someone else is selling the item for 82 pounds and 45 pence it's probably pointless to sell yours for 95 pounds and 75 pence unless you can convince the buyer why you are selling the same item for a higher price than your competitors do you have pictures of your items photographing your items is worthwhile especially if you have a digital camera if you want to become serious about ebay but don't have a camera you'll need to get one eventually do you communicate with your buyers when a buyer buys your item it's important to send them a quick message like thank you for purchasing my item i will send you a tracking number as soon as your item is dispatched you'll be astonished at how many issues you may prevent just by interacting with your buyer in this manner are you also checking your emails remember that potential buyers may send you emails at any moment about anything and if you don't respond they'll go somewhere else instead of buying from you do your item description pages include all of the information that buyers require if you're going to provide international shipping compile a list of the fees for different countries and post it on each item if you have any specific terms and conditions for example if you would refund any item if it hasn't been opened make sure these are clearly posted as well if you are selling inventory items have you been packaging them correctly for the best impression your packaging should be professional use the correct size envelopes or parcels cover the goods in bubble wrap to prevent damage and print labels rather than handwriting addresses always send first class mail don't cut corners do you follow up with your buyer it's a good idea to contact the buyer a few days after you've posted their item saying something along the lines of is everything okay with your order i hope you got it and it was to your expectation this may appear to be giving the buyer a chance to complain but you should be attempting to assist your buyers rather than taking their money and running providing really good and honest customer service is more important than everything else when it comes to becoming a great ebay seller that is the only surefire strategy to safeguard your reputation of course you're probably asking if it's really worth the effort to build a solid ebay reputation would people buy from you nonetheless and if it truly comes down to it couldn't you just start a new account if you do not provide excellent customer service on ebay you may be in for a wake-up call apply all that you have learned in this video to your ebay business and you will surely reap the benefits as you continue to sell in the ebay marketplace so guys i hope these tips were helpful and you can now go ahead apply it you know to your ebay shop apply it to your ebay store and believe me you will reap the success so guys uh thank you again for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet just hit that subscribe button give the video a like and also leave a comment to tell me what you think see you in another video